Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols words and today we're going to talk about two of my favorite leathers to have a Bible rebound in. Now this may seem a little confusing to you because my favorite leather overall is Horween. The problem with Horween is I only like it in one color. Another issue with Horween is that once you scratch it, there's no going back with it. And I don't mind that because this is more of a boot leather because I'm really gentle with my Bibles, but I actually do prefer my Bibles not to have scratched up covers, but there's something about this Horween that is just so beautiful, but I only like the burgundy. I don't like the brown. I don't like the other colors, but this is a gorgeous leather. But I am telling you, if you're getting a Bible rebound, battle assy, waxy pull-up cowhide from Rocky Mountain Leathers is the absolute best leather you can get. And I'm gonna show you why. Number one, it comes in a myriad of colors. I don't even have all the colors. I've got some on the way. I've got some that I can't even get to yet. In fact, they have another style of leather called Pueblo that does not have the pull-up effect, but it just starts off almost like a really smooth sandpaper, but as you use it, it gets that shine, and it just gets really, really beautiful. But this is unbeatable leather if you're in the market for a rebind and it's actually not crazy expensive as well but here's what i love about it it's got a pull-up effect and when you pull up on it check it out now i've got a sample piece here i'm just going to go to work on and show you how it would work if you were to just go after it but this is the turquoise absolutely stunning this is the golden yellow this oh this is so close to my favorite color and check it out oh, just beautiful this is Olmo, really nice. Now this one seems to have more of a matty finish than the others, but look at that smoke. Look how it does when you add tool work to it. It gives that antique, beautiful look. This, just gorgeous. Now the turquoise doesn't seem to do that as much. It doesn't seem to antique as well whenever you apply the tool work. Same with the tobacco. It does a little bit, but not too much, but that pull up effect, oh, it's just so beautiful. The Bordeaux. Now the Bordeaux is interesting because it gives you a little bit of an effect there, but not a whole lot, but that blind stamping looks really good. And then this one, just look at that pull up effect. It's just so beautiful, just nice. But this one is probably among the hardest to get the pull up out of, but it's still there. And then of course we have the Cognac, which has that beautiful, oh, that's just so nice, love it. And see the cool thing about it is if you just do it a little bit, when you press it back down, it just goes away. You can sort of play with this almost like a toy and really, really make it look sharp. But I love how it does on the spine, especially in the golden yellow, in the Olmo, and in the cognac. But the next rebind I've got coming up from Flourish Bibles here in a couple months is gonna be in this green. And I've got a sample piece because I wanted to see it, but check it out. Okay, we're just gonna go to town. Just take this leather and just pull it. See how when you pull it, it totally changes the color. So we're gonna see how it behaves if I just smooth it back down. And you can see it gives it a little bit of a smoky look, but you really can't tell that you messed with it. So you can customize this leather to look however you want. Do you want it to have a really smoky look? Then once you get it on that cover, you can just pull on it like this, smooth that out, it removes your fingerprints and check that out. Look how it gives it that smoke. This is amazing leather. So if you're in the market for a rebind and you're not afraid of some leather that will patina or change as you use it, then this is probably gonna be a really good choice for you. Here's another thing about this. Now we're gonna do something I've never done before. We're gonna put a massive scratch on this. I'm gonna go from top to bottom, ready? And then we're gonna rub it and see what happens. And you can see that with just a little bit of pressure and effort, get your finger wet, that it rubs that scratch out. I'm gonna try another spot just to show you how it behaves. So if I was to put the effort in, you could completely, look at that completely gone. That is unreal leather. So if you don't like scratches, but you like leather, that's a little more volatile. You can't beat this. Horween still my favorite leather from a single color standpoint and from a look standpoint. But I am telling you, if I'm getting Bibles rebound, I'm most likely using Battle Assy Waxy Pull Up from Rocky Mountain Leather because it's just, it's unbeatable. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholsworth.